What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We're back at it again for another Copart walk around over here at 2829 Southeast 15th Street here in Oklahoma City. You can see the sky behind me. Yeah, it's one of them days, man. It's one of them days where it's uh, it doesn't quite know what it's going to do. But I can tell you something. The car we're about to look at, uh, Oklahoma weather already got a hold of it. We're going to start this video off with a 2013 Ford F-150. And if you haven't been able to see already what the damage is, uh, let me get you in a little bit closer. How's that? You see <laughs> You see it now? I told you. I told you guys, hail is the name of the game for the foreseeable future out here. That's a fact. Oklahoma weather is no joke. 92,000 miles. Low miles on this. It's the Eco Beast. So it's that twin turbo V6. Uh, I'm here to tell you, man. You can laugh at the little V6 all you want. But she's a workhorse. Ask me how I know. I had one. I had one, man. It had like, what was it? 280,000 miles on it? That thing was a beast. Now, this rig is, it's pretty banged up. You can see the, you can see how significant the hail was, right? These belts don't dent the easiest. Um, <laughs> she got it, man. She got it. Now, the truck, although it's a total loss, honestly, what do you need to put this back on the road? A windshield. That's it. Put a windshield in it. Tires look decent. The body is decent aside from the hail damage. I mean, if you're going to use it for work, who cares? Who cares? This is the perfect truck for work. Like you got this, uh, you know, vinyl cap on the back. It's actually really nice. Very nice. I'm surprised. Normally these trucks are, they're usually pretty, pretty raunchy on the inside. This is nice. This is one that somebody actually cared about. You can tell. You can tell. Somebody really cared about this truck. Wow. Wow. All right. You got the kind of base model stereo there. That's fine. Built-in trailer brake. Trailer disconnected. That's always nice to have that built-in trailer brake. Lots of options on the steering wheel. We got any warning lights on? Nothing. No funny noises, no funny smells. It looks nice, it smells nice. The important window works. Man, I really like this one. This is a good one. This is a good one. Oh, let me pop the hood. We'll definitely take a look at that soon. Oh, that's weird. We've got a third seat here. I was expecting there to be a uh, like a console that flips down. But I guess not. You got a uh, slide out cup holders. We got here. Um, you got some line inputs, USB charger, place to put some cards or something right there. It's got Microsoft Sync. Okay. Uh, axle lock or diff lock, I'm sorry. Diff lock on. Yeah, and it works. Diff lock off. Yeah, this is nice. I could do this, man. I could do this. Air conditioning is nice and cold. It's a solid truck right here. Solid truck. I'm, I'm telling you guys, uh, these things last forever. They are tough as nails, man. Can I get the, the hood open? There we go. Yeah, there she is. Lots of room for uh, activities under here. Oh, wow, look at this. Hey, what's up, little guy? Let me see if I can get you zoomed in on them a little bit. One of the most poisonous spiders on the planet. Wow. Can we zoom in a little more? Look at him. What's up, little fella? Wow. I love daddy long leg spiders. I really do. I think they're just the coolest damn spiders ever. Look at them. All right. All right, he doesn't want to be bothered. Let's leave him be. I kind of feel bad for disturbing him. You can see your turbo right down there. I mean, honestly, guys, this thing's got plenty of room to work on it. Plenty of room. This side's a little more cramped up, but, it, uh, you know, again, not that big of a deal. You have the turbo sitting right down there. Real easy to get to everything. This is a good one. Whoever gets this truck, I'm telling you, uh, they're getting a hell of a deal on this. I guarantee that this is gonna be a solid truck, man Damn, I kind of want it. I don't need it. I really I don't need it 
really I don't need anything right now I've got so many projects going on the last thing I need is to buy something else but you put a windshield in this man this isn't really a project oh wow you got your backup camera there yeah yeah Randy don't do it man this one's ready to go like this one's ready to go I got a windshield guy man yo it's got the oh whoa 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 it's got the the power sliding rear window too hold up hold up look at that oh man okay all right I can't lie I think I want this one. I do. I think I want this one. I don't know what the hell I'll do with it, but I want it. Well, I changed my mind on that truck. I decided to pull it up because I wanted to throw a bid, on, bid in on it. There's an hour left. And, uh, yeah, it's already at $10,000. So, um, no, I'll pass on that one. But, here's one. I, whoa, I didn't notice that wheel. Okay. An 05 CLK 320. Well, this one actually looks pretty good, except for the other side. Obviously, uh, something something happened there. 87,000 miles, that's low miles. That's really low miles. It's got a few paint blemishes here and there. Clear coat peel here, here, here. Window tints peeling a little bit. Oh, how did I miss that? Okay, <laughs> she got she got a little more damage than what I'd originally thought. So, obviously, somebody hit something with this side of the car. Uh, they hit it pretty good, man. So you're gonna have probably lower control arm damage on this one. You got a scuffed up wheel there, pretty chewed up on the edge there as well. Um, definitely, you're gonna have some suspension damage back there to deal with. Probably not that big a deal though. Up here, uh, same deal, man same deal somebody ran this sucker up on something that's uh that's pretty rough this is probably gonna have a broken ball joint that would be my guess i don't know if i can fit this thing back in here can we see can we see yeah i don't know i can't see but i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna bet broken ball joint destroyed control arm maybe a snapped uh tie rod end and you got a little bit of front bumper damage here. I mean, really, you should replace that bumper. But I guess if you just didn't want to, you could live with it. It'd probably be all right. Convertible. Nice. Headlights need polished up. And she's really not in, not in too bad a shape on the outside anyway. Let's see what the inside looks like. Honestly, pretty decent. Pretty decent. This one's all right. This one's at $1,200 right now. Uh, let's put the key in. Oh, that is a doornail. Ooh, what happened to the screen there? Wow, it's delaminating. Look at that. It's bizarre. It's all chewed up. I don't know what used to be there, but it's missing now. There we go. There we go. We'll need to put a little power to her. Let's go ahead and pop the hood and do it to it. I always pull the hood release several times. It just makes me feel better. I really hate walking back and forth and doing things over again, so I just kind of try to get it right the first time. There's the battery, and somebody was nice enough to write positive and negative in case you couldn't tell that that wire right there goes straight to the body. Well, in case you didn't know that, now you know that that's going to be the negative, not the positive. There's your cutesy little 3.2 liter V6. Yeah, she's tiny and not the most powerful engine in the world, but she gets the job done. And she's reliable. These things are rock solid, man. Very nice car. Let's put a jump on it. Let's see what she does. Yeah, I guess I totally forgot to mention that the strut's probably destroyed too. As you can see, things aren't sitting very happily in the strut tower there. So <laughs> definitely some suspension damage. But thankfully, this car is so cheap to buy parts for, man. Used, new, it doesn't matter. Parts for these aren't that expensive. So you can put this thing back together relatively cheap. Are you ready? She fired right up, man. 
I knew she would. I did. I knew she would. Turn on the air just a tad here. Definitely need to know if the air conditioning works. It's important. It's really important. I'm telling you, in Oklahoma, very, very important. Also, important to know if the important window works. I've had people... Okay. I've had people ask me why I call this the important window. And uh, for those of you curious why I call this the important window, it's because this is the window you roll down into a drive through That makes this window very important, whether it's the bank or for food or the gas station. This window is super embarrassing when it goes out because when it doesn't work anywhere, you got to open your door. And in a two-door car where you got wide doors like this, it can be a real hassle. It's just embarrassing. So I call that the important window. That window's least important in my opinion, and it, it works. All right, let's give her a little rev. She sounds good. Let's put her in gear. I felt it go in reverse. I'm not gonna drive it backwards for obvious reasons. That wheel is already in the bumper. I'm not trying to destroy it. Goes into drive and it goes back into park. That's all we need to know. The steering feels all right. I think it's got a busted tie rod. I do. Someone was changing the oil in it. So that's good. All right. Hey, you know, it is what it is. I don't know what the price is on it. What is that? That's interesting. I think it's at a uh, $1,300 or so right now. Yeah, not a bad deal for a... There's your spare tire kit. Not a bad deal for a convertible Mercedes, really. Yeah, I think this is easily fixable, guys. I really do. This is not going to be that big of a deal. All right. Let's find something else to play with. And that something else is going to be a little bit of carnage. Another F-150. Boy, this is like truck week over here at Copart, isn't it? 19 F-150. And man, I love this blue. I, I actually, I really love this truck. It looks like it's a short bed. It's a single cab. It's something that, it's not very popular anymore. Everybody's truck can seat like eight people now. Uh, obviously, she went off-road. Uh, yeah, definitely went off-road and definitely took a little, uh, little damage to the top there. Okay, <laughs> who am I kidding? This thing is done. This thing is done. She's in really bad shape. Four by four, two, man. It's like the perfect truck right here. What do we got in the back? A football. I wonder if they let me take that home. Probably not. Man, had some nice fuel wheels. Big tires, of course. Can we open this door? Will this door let us in? Yes. Well, somewhat. Let's see what... Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, boy. Wow. I do imagine that windshield falling in on the driver probably really, really sucked. Really sucked. And we've got a passenger side seat bag blown and the passenger side uh, roof bag is blown as well. Wow, I like that custom antenna right there though. That's kind of cool. It says bio, probably from all the all the water getting in from where the windshield's broken out. Yeah, this, uh, this one's a wreck. Next, we got us a custom Mustang, man. Another victim of Oklahoma's weather. Hailstorm got to this one and absolutely destroyed it, man. The hail hit so hard it took the damn paint off. Look at that. <laughs> the hail took the paint off. It's a 2016. She's got some pretty significant hail damage. 43,000 miles on the odometer, so low miles. But look at that. Look at that. Man, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I love the louvers. But guys, these aren't real louvers. <laughs> okay. Uh, back in my day... Okay, back in the 80s and the 90s, louvers were not plastic. This is this is plastic, and you can see where it's just got adhesive. That like, really? Uh, that's not louvers, man. I mean, it looks cool until you get right up on it and you realize it's just cheaply made plastic. Louvers used to be made out of metal, man. How do I know? Because I had them on my Camaro. It was a V6 Camaro, 2.8 liter. You guys remember the 2.8 and the Camaro from back in the 80s? Maybe even early 90s. I don't remember, but yeah. It's got Roush exhaust. Um, what do you think? V6? I don't think this is a V8. 
It could be. It could be. It's got the performance pack wheels, a fake scoop on the hood. It could be a GT. It, it really could. This might actually... No, it's not a performance pack. It's a lie. This car is a lie. The performance pack is a manual transmission. This is an automatic. Ugh, you're cheating, man. Let's pop the hood. Oh. <laughs> it's got the shaker. Ooh, look at that. The start button. It's got the key, but she's dead as a doornail. Yeah, I think this is the V8. I do. I think that much about it is legit. It's going to be the V8. But, uh... Unless I'm wrong, I'm pretty certain the performance pack only came in a uh, in manual transmission. Golly, what do we got going on under here, man? This hood doesn't line up right. Yeah, I'm not even sure I can get to the. Uh... Here, let me put you guys down for a minute. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> I was real wrong. I had a feeling this car has been in a wreck before. The hood is way off, man. Uh, the hood doesn't even come close to lining up here, like not even remotely close. You can see you got salvage yard riding on the intake pipe here. Um, like look at these fans, they're not even attached. Okay, this car has been in a pretty serious accident before. Let's start looking around and try to figure out where. Strut tower looks good, fender apron looks good, but you'll notice you got wood screws, okay? more wood screws the factory clips are not here you know why because the factory clips won't fit another telltale sign you got these hood pins you don't need hood pins if everything lines up properly another sign look over here all of this is just laying here why because somebody had to remove all that to do some work now that's all factory you can see the spot welds are still factory on there so maybe somebody just replaced the battery over here i don't know there's a big broken piece of glass Okay, another sign, something uh, substantial happened here. That's from the previous accident. So this car was already rebuilt once and it was done very, very poorly. The paint job is really bad, really bad. And the hail just fit, ah, aha. Here we go. You see what I see down there? Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit, there we go. I mean, again, you got wood screws holding the air box into the fender oh my goodness wow you can see these uh this panel right here is cracked and broken it doesn't it doesn't fit at all it doesn't fit at all <laughs> oh wow uh that's just completely cut apart and rusted look at that oh my wow guys okay yeah yeah this is a. Uh, this one's pretty rough man We'll give her an opportunity to run, though. Uh, I wouldn't touch this one, man. Like, not at all. Look at the gaps here. My goodness. Wow. Yeah, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, man, somebody probably overpaid for it at a buy here, pay here, too. Oh, wow. That sounds... That's okay. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's a well optioned four cylinder, though. I mean, it is. And the four cylinder's got like 300 horsepower or something like that. So, I mean, it's, it's not a slouch by any stretch of the imagination. Listen to that exhaust. What is this? That sounds awful. I think this one's a fake. This one's not doing anything. Hear that turbo? You can hear that turbo spooling. That's about the only thing this car's got going for it. Oh, we've got TPMS, brake light, ABS, airbag, traction control, Well, the AC came on, so that's something. I didn't expect the air conditioning would work. Oh, that took care of the brake light. Wow, well, let's turn this down. We don't need all that. I will turn the AC on to me, though, because it is hot out here, man. I am not even kidding. 
she is hot out turn off the rear defrost we don't need that either there we go all right put it in gear I mean, she she moves. It, 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 this one is. I mean, the turbo sounds good. You know, that's that's nice. I'm trying to see if this AC will get nice and cold. Right now, it's just kind of lukewarm. There's still shards of glass in here. And that's, well, I guess some of it could be from uh, from the hail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that uh, rear view mirror is just gone. Yeah, the AC is not, uh, it's not cold. It comes on, but it's not cold. Steering feel, sport, comfort, traction control. Uh, what modes do we have? Sports Plus, Track. I mean, it's got all the options. Ow! Well, damn. No, that happens sometimes. I got a, I got a shard of glass in my finger. That'll be fun to get out later. Yeah, she's, she's just in bad shape, guys. Real bad shape. That's a shame, too. That's a shame. Uh, otherwise, pretty nice car, man. Used to be. I would have no issue driving one of these. I really wouldn't. I wouldn't mind an EcoBoost. They're quick enough. Gets the job done. Okay. Let's go find us another car. Man, I'm a sucker for a Jag. I am. We got us an old Jaguar XF. I don't really know anything else about it other than uh, I think that was some sort of PPF that's all coming apart on it. I don't know the year. So this is a non-runner too. Let's take a look. Ugh. Well, that's not the year. Where's the sticker? I don't see the sticker. Did that have the year on it? No, I don't think so. There it is. It's a 16. Wow. I actually thought this was a little older than that. Really? This is a 16? Manufacture date, 12 of 15. Okay, yeah, this is a 2016. She took a tap in the rear. Not bad, just a light one. Okay, it's pretty bad. 3.5T, all wheel drive. Yeah, she took a nasty hit in the back end there, guys. She really did. But it doesn't look like it buckled the quarters any. It's it's fixable, it's fixable. I just, I wonder why it's a non-runner. Oh, and that PPF, man, you can see it, that bra, clear bra, yeah. I'm gonna guess it's a non-runner because you can't jump start it. Uh, Surely you can. Her, knowing my luck, to jump start it, you would need to get in the trunk. And I don't think you're going to get in the trunk on this one, guys. Newsflash. Uh, took a nice little hit back there. But we might get lucky. Sometimes these things are listed as non-runners. And sometimes they actually run. You can jump it. You can jump it right here. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this then. There we go. I saw some lights flash. Let's see what she does. I bet she runs. I do, unless it's got like a fuel cut off or on top of the battery, and the battery is in the trunk. It could have one of those, uh, in the event of an accident, it just blows the fuse so that you can't drive it. Uh, it runs. It does, it runs. Ha ha ha! Kind of another unicorn out here. One of those ones that says it doesn't run, but it actually does keeps the uh bids down on it i mean honestly with that rear end damage i don't think i'm particularly interested but as as usual i am interested in the uh i am interested in the air conditioning oh yes 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 thank you thank you okay that's a little that's a little much man i can turn that down just a just a tad just a tad you got a nice little touch screen right here audio off Parking aid on and off. Maps. See what the nav looks like on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The navigation is all right. A little old school, but she's all right, I guess. Camera system fault. 
hood open, blind spot. Yeah, we get it. You're not happy. You're not happy. All right, let's put it in reverse. Parking aid not available. Makes sense because there's nothing there. Drive. Yeah. Yeah, she moves and then back to park. Done deal, man. This is nice. This is real nice. I like this. All right, enough playing with the Jaguar. Let's move on to the next one. We got a couple of SN95s over here that I guess I missed. Got a couple of SN95s over here that I guess I missed. Both V6s, I believe. One's blue and one's red. This one took a nice hit to the back end. And the other one took a pretty substantial hit to the front. Yeah. I, I love this generation of Mustang. I do. I, I've just always had a thing for them, man. I really have. Uh, these aren't actually on my list. I just figured since I'm over here walking by this one. Ooh. Uh, wow, man. Um, I'm glad I'm recording in 4K this week. I hope I hope this comes out looking really, really good. Back to the iPhone because my GoPro's been acting up, so I decided to uh, come out today and do all the walk-arounds this week in 4K 60 on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Wow. I mean, this damage is just insane. Look at the engine, the K member, every, everything. Every, wow wow that is crazy that is crazy obviously a non-runner yeah no kidding good lord have mercy well it was a nice looking car too this is not an SN95 though that was my bad on that. Similar body styles, but they're not the same. That's crazy, guys. Okay, let's go find something else. Last one, guys. How about an old Chevy pickup? Not to worry. We got more Copart walk-arounds coming. I got one more for you this week. We'll check out the motorcycles and ATVs and stuff in that one as well. But for the last one, we've got an old-school Chevy. Well, I guess it's not that old. She's an 04. Oh, let's see if I can squeeze through here. Oh, no keys. No! No, man. Well, that doesn't do me a whole hell of a lot of good. Dang it, I wanted something we could fire up. This is impounded in Midwest City. It's got a Midwest City impound sticker on the back of it. Uh, used to have a Harley Davidson decal on the back, too. I like that. You can almost kind of see it. It's almost ghosted into it now. Can you see it? Maybe not. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's there, though. It's got some flames right there. Yeah, you probably can't see it on video. Um, so, it used to be red. This may be a theft recovery. It used to be red. Somebody primered over the red without prepping it. Like, this hasn't been sanded or scuffed in the slightest. Someone literally just primered over the red paint. Yeah. Man, it was a nice truck, too. Really was. So far, very clean. The paint was beautiful. You, can, you guys know I love my red. I love my red. Oh, wow. Yeah, it smells pretty rank in here, though. But honestly, it's in pretty damn good shape. It really is. Look at those wheels, man. Tires got some good meat on them. We got under here aftermarket control arms. Yep. Four-wheel drive. Yep. Custom flames. Sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, how much you want to bet? Theft recovery impounded when it was picked up by the police. I was hoping maybe there'd be a maybe there'd be a key in here somewhere. Maybe the steering wheel turns even though there is no key. So that usually doesn't work. It's not supposed to happen. They're supposed to lock. Ugh. No, I can't get in there. I was really hoping there might be a key. Well, there's stuff in there, but we're not going to get in to find out. We got some lights, trailer brake, aftermarket stereo. Let's pop the hood, see what she's got. See what she's working with under there. 
They got her parked right next to a Ford, too. And a Prius. Boy, this truck's probably pissed right now. Can you imagine? Oh, it's stuck between two Fords. Ooh. You... <laughs> I almost feel for you, man. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know what that engine is, but it looks kind of like a diesel. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a Dirty Max. Or is it a Power Stroke? I can't remember. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, she's got a Dirty Max in her. I bet money with a key she runs. I would bet you money with a key she would fire right up, man. Damn. Okay, I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging this. I'm kind of really digging this. <sighs> Too bad it doesn't have a key. I was really looking forward to uh, firing this one up for you guys. Boy, guys, I'm going to get out of here. It's slim pickings this week. If you can't tell, man, like I'm really trying to find you guys some content this week. It just it can't always be done. Unfortunately, that's one of the downsides of living in Oklahoma is uh, when it comes to the Copart and, and other other yards and stuff. We just don't have much to offer. Now, sometimes we get some pretty cool stuff in, but unfortunately, there's just not enough to make every video like, bam, 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 look at what we got. I just do the best I can with what we got, man. Uh, they do have a lot of cars here, though. I mean, they go through roughly 600, 650 cars every week here, and it's hard to believe that it's hard for me to find 20. I do five cars. I try to do five cars per video four times a week. I need 20 cars a week, and out of 600 plus, I find it fairly difficult to come across 20 that I think you guys would be interested in seeing. But I hope you enjoyed the content. I did the best that I could for you guys. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Share the video with your friends. Drop those comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and all that other stuff. Auto Auction Rebuilds. Link down below. Just click on it. Stay tuned because the next video is going to be ATVs, motorcycles, and hell, we may even find another interesting car or two. Guys, I got to get out of here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe out there. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.